Okay, guys, I just made these drink ba drink bombs. They're not bath bombs. They're not Tide Pods. They're made in my regular kitchen, my food kitchen, not my soapy kitchen. Um, and I think they turned out really good. I just had one in just, this is just plain water and one of my little embed bomb things. And let's put it in and it's going to drop and then it should rise back up and do its fizz thing. All right, so it's kind of like... Alka seltzer to start. <laughs> and there it goes. We'll go to the back to the top. But you could use your food colors. You could do some you could do some drink art with these guys. Um, I'm not I don't drink alcohol, but I sure do like Today fancy. I'm gonna show you how to make uh, your own drink bombs like Patron in New York is making right now. Um, and Alka seltzer's been making for years, except for not sweet. And <laughs> Uh, there used to be a fizzy drink company out there called, I think it was called the Fizzer or something in the 1970s. Um, so this is not a new idea, but it is a super, super cool idea. And I'm going to show you two ways to make them, well, three or four actually, um, so that you can make your own. Are sodium bicarb or baking soda and just a smaller amount than citric. Citric acid is going to react with the bicarb and these two are going to cause the fizzing floating action. And then lots and lots of sugar. I'm using two types of sugar here because it just seems to bind better. I've made um, ice cubes before, not ice cubes, sugar cubes before, and they have really good binding. I also don't like the flavor too much of the um, of the cornstarch in my drink. So, uh, not cornstarch, half a cup of icing sugar, a tablespoon and a half of citric acid, a tablespoon of bicarb or half a tablespoon of bicarb, and then another half a cup of sugar. Now for this recipe, I'm going to be using the Green Apple Rio Flavor Concentrate. But first, I'm gonna make sure I mix really well. So you can use a sifter, or you can just do it this way. So this is just like making bath bombs, and I'm gonna actually do a bath bomb technique with you here. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to make the finished bomb spin, but it's what we do in the bath bomb world to make our bath bomb spin. All right, do you see that with this right here? Gotta make sure. There's a little bit of a reaction going on there. You gotta make sure you mix it really well. Because that's reaction starting, and so you're gonna it's gonna bind this all together. All right, so don't pour directly out of the bottle. I made that mistake. I'm gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon of the real green apple flavor concentrate. You can just use water if you want to make these plain. The first time I made these, I made it. Do you see the reaction starting to go? Mix quickly, just like you would with the bath bomb, if you're a bath bomb maker. The first time I made these, I made them like margarita style, and so what I added was calamansi lime powder, which is pretty cool. That's what this looks like. This is the, the brand I use. Um, there's the True Lime, or the... There's lots of different ones out there. This is a really light color. Ooh, that smells really good though. You can smell the apple. I'm going to add another quarter of a teaspoon to this quantity because it just, I want the flavor to be a little stronger. And we'll do a water test before we start packing them into the molds, okay? So this is kind of like making bath bombs, but not, because if you add too much liquid, you're going to end up with frosting. There's your difference, fizzy frosting. Unfortunately, the frosting won't stay fizzy because the reaction will be used up. All right, so there we're getting a little bit better color, which is what I wanted. Maybe a bit of a stronger flavor. Okay. 
So you want your color and your flavoring all mixed pretty uniformly. If you don't, you'll have spotty bombs. Just like if you had, it's just like you were doing your bath bomb. Then you could probably bloom your flavors, <laughs> which means add it to the viper ahead of time. And that'll also help to spray your color a little better. So all those techniques that we use for bath bombs can totally be used here. All right, so that's not bad. I could use a little more, but for time's sake, we're gonna call this good. All right. So to make them like I did, you just need a set of measuring spoons. Now what I'm going to show you is first how to do a regular one, so just plain one. Pack it in good. Again, don't pack it too tight or it won't float. <laughs> make it flat. and then plunk it onto your surface. Okay, that one's a little dry. We're gonna add a little more liquid. Might as well use the flavor. Now you could spritz it if you have a little spritzer for your kitchen. That's not something that's you know, standard kitchen equipment. I'm going to just get in here and use my hands because those are big lumps and I don't want that reaction to go until it's in my drink. Now, I really like vitamin drinks and I thought that the the uh, green apple would be really nice for my B vitamin drink. So I'm going to show you how to make a B vitamin drink. You're going to need two spoons and a B vitamin. All right, that mess was driving me nuts, so I had to, had to deal with it. So it's easy enough to crush up your favorite vitamins. And I'm going to take half of this. mix that I've made because that's my base mix and you don't have to flavor the whole thing you can take like a quarter of a cup of it and just be real careful with how much liquid you make you um, add to it I'm just gonna get my sifter all right so I'm gonna put in my vitamin And I've got one here that I mixed up previously that's got vitamin C in it. So I'm going to put some of that in. Now, if you want to get all that goodness in, I just push it through the sieve. Easy peasy. All right, I'm going to add a few tablespoons of my mix, which is ready. Mix again. You know, those wonderful B vitamins. Oh, this smells great. So this has B and C vitamin in it. You don't have to put vitamins in yours. This is just something I really, really like. I mean, you see all those little packets of stuff ready to go? Well, you can make your own. You don't even have to make them in the bombs. You can just make the powder, put it into little Ziploc bags, and add it to your drink at lunchtime. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna form these into our little drink bomb. And to do that, you just scoop it and push it really, really hard. Not super, super hard, but hard enough. And pop it up, just like that. Do a few of these. Push it in and pop it out. It's 
So I like making embeds if you're into embeds for bath bombs. Now that's just a basic one. Now I'm going to take the big one and I'm going to put some of that in. And then I made these earlier. These are um, uh, black cherry flavored and I'm going to put it in one side. Now I don't know if this is going to make it spin or not like it would on a regular bath bomb. But we're going to give it a try and see. That in. You might even get a little bit of a, a show. So we'll do another one with Ubi. So I'm going to put one on this side and I'm going to put one on the other side as well. You could do two different colors. So now we've got three colors here. We got like Mardi Gras colors here, guys. Purples and greens and yellows. clean up. Okay, the thing with these frizzy drink bombs, I said bath bombs earlier, oops, um, is you need to use them fresh. So you need to make them within like a few hours of serving them. Otherwise, they won't float. You can make them ahead of time, but um, my experience has been that they don't actually float when you do that. Now, I'll show you an example really quick. All right, so let me grab one that I made yesterday. Actually, the Ubi's were made yesterday, so here's one of these little itty bitties. So we'll put it in there. And well, this one's like into, well, maybe they do float. Maybe it depends on how you pack it. It could be how you pack it. It's not exactly coming up to the top, but to give you a reference point for float or not, here is one that we just made few minutes ago and they flop they go right to the top you see that and if you want that kind of effect you're gonna to have to make them the day you use them use them the day you make them um, otherwise here's one like another one that I made yesterday just plain with the, the margarita uh, calamansi powder and it just kind of stays on the bottom right now like a little Alka-Seltzer. It still fizzes. It's still really cool. It'll still make the drink taste like it's carbonated, but um, it doesn't float to the top and look really, really cool. All right, so I'm going to do that one more time. We'll see if the embeds change the color of the drink or do anything fun um, art-wise. All right, here we go. Here is a new demo. All right, so I'm getting the one that has the two embeds right here, and it should float. Might not. Might be too heavy to float. <laughs> no, it's going to float, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? You get a little bit of, I won't turn just so you can see. You can see the purple and also the uh, green in this drink. And you also have little pieces of the vitamin floating in there too, so you've got orange and purple and green. Isn't that fun? Um, we also, my client and I made some fun um, hot chocolate drink bombs because <laughs> he loves hot chocolate and he was just really, really excited about this, uh, this project I was playing with. So we're gonna show you how to make a hot chocolate one. Um, well, I'm not gonna show you how to make it, but I'm gonna show you how it works in the mug, I hope. I've got a clear, a and W mug here. And just swap it over. You can keep watching that. It's still busy and fun. And we're gonna put some hot water in this one. Just make it a little one. Some hot chocolate mix. Now you could add um, milk powder to this recipe to make a uh, hot chocolate bombs. Gonna fix that really quick. All right, so we wiped it around. Now this little bomb we made with International Delight. Um, same recipe, a little sweeter. We used less of the citric acid, 
and let's show you what this does. That kind of looks like a marshmallow floating on top. That one not decided if you can see his bubbles. Where'd he go? There he is. We've just got so much hot chocolate you can't really see it very well. It's floating on the top. Uh, reacting. Got a little more. Got a little too much chocolate in there. Got a little more. Bring it up a little bit so you can see it and make it a more tasty drink for me. That's going to add a little vanilla toffee boost to my hot chocolate. Now let's throw another one in. So fizzy hot chocolate. <laughs> very, very fun. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. Have fun. Tell me what's going on. Uh, send me, some, send me some, some cool pictures. If you want to share your recipes with me, that would be awesome. Have fun. Enjoy. And... Um, if you're one of those lucky people in New York, enjoy, but you can also do it at home. The rest of us want to do it too. Yay. <laughs> All right. So till next time, this is Jennifer from the Jen Spice channel. I'm showing you how to make a drink bomb. Okay, let's try. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. It's just water, your vitamins, and the citric acid and bicarb. Fizzy, yummy goodness. All right, let's see what the hot chocolate's like. Oh, it's like Willy Wonka chocolate. <laughs> Zumbo's Creations, here's something new for you. Mmm, yummy.